decided that the job page three, a page three girl would be the job she'd do. And it was the minute I put a wig on, I lost sort of all the fear and I started going down better than I ever had when I was been doing stand-up as me. Now I've heard that you're gonna kill Girl Tuesday, is that right? Well, sort of. I'm not, I'm not actually going to kill her off, I don't think, but I'm going to stop doing her. Because I think it's important to sort of know when to move on, and I'd never intended Gail to be my entire career, as much as I've loved doing it. Was there any one day when you decided that today I'm going to be a comedian, sort of a turning point for you? Actually, it's quite funny. A lot of people said to me before, because I wanted to be an actress, a lot of people said to me, have you ever considered doing comedy? This was years ago, you know, just before I did it. And, um... I sort of said, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And they said, oh, because some of the stories you tell are funny. And it's got all people would say, oh, you're, you're, you could be funny at dinner parties or something like that. But the trouble with that is that when you actually get on a stage, it's completely different trying to relate to a group of strangers than it is maybe feeling very relaxed and telling your friend some funny story of when you got stuck in a window or something. And um, so people are wrong in a way to say, Oh, you make me laugh, you should be a comedian, because actually doing it on stage is completely different. Do you ever feel any pressure when you first meet people and you tell them that you're a comedian to be really funny? Before I ever did any telly as Gail or anything, I probably could be quite sort of extrovert or something, you know, at social occasions and not worried about it. But now, I, so there's a bit of me that feels it would be really naff to turn up at a social occasion and take over and be really over the top and it's just like that would seem so sort of sort of eggy and egotistical that I actually I think if anybody knows that I'm a comedian if I ever go anywhere and they know I'm a comedian I think that makes me clam up more but before you go on stage do you have your whole act mapped out or do you tend to go off on one halfway through if you realize people are on your side or whatever? well if you realize people are on your side then that really makes you feel more confident I go out and I do know exactly what I'm gonna say and then sometimes something happens and it will remind me of a joke that I hadn't done for ages or something and then I'll go into like two or three minutes of that and I hadn't intended to and sometimes something funny happens and you just pick up on it. Do you find it easy to write funny stuff? Well that's the funny thing that even if you think I've got to work really hard and I've got to be self-disciplined and I will try and write all day today the trouble is you can't guarantee what you'll get done. I mean, in other jobs, you can say, right, I've got this amount of work and I'm going to get this finished by today. But when you're writing jokes, you can't get up and say, right, by the end of the day, I will make myself write five really good jokes. Because you could sit there all day and not write one. <laughs> So I guess it all swings and roundabouts. So do you yeah. find yourself going through periods where you're just being hilarious and just churning out amazing stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody says that comedy is the rock and roll of the 90s. Do you think that's true? I don't know. Um, I think it's more for the blokes, really, because they do get sort of groupies a bit. But if you're a girl doing it, you don't get blokes coming out asking you out. Well, they didn't me. Maybe they did all the other female comedians. <laughs> Was it just you, do you think? I don't think it was. I think <laughs> I hope not. She really was a delight to talk to, and now some more delight.